The North Shore Market was created almost 10 years ago to provide an outlet for local plants and produce and art and crafts that must be made on the North Shore. The market now attracts an equal number of craftspeople, offering every imaginable variety of high quality, wonderfully made local goods. The open market had several different locations in the early years. As executive director of the North Shore Country Market, Bill Howes spearheaded work in 1997 to find a permanent home for the community market. After several false starts, the Oahu Parks Department, through community services, offered an undeveloped one-acre parcel on Kamehameha Highway. We feel it's perfect for them, said the Parks Department. The problem is it needs cleaning, but it's nothing insurmountable. A five-year lease agreement was prepared and signed. Three days before the first market in 1999, North Shore Community Market volunteer members cleared approximately 10,000 square feet of brush with weed whackers, chainsaws, and machetes. They then spread donated wood chip mulch and were ready for the new market to begin. Since that time, North Shore Country Market members and other community residents have done so much to truly create a production garden for all. In the words of Bill Howe, a farmer's market is everything that a community is. It's food, it's camaraderie, it's ohana, it's people to get, getting together and having fun, only the great thing is they're making money too. Here, people learn to share with each other, barter, exchange information and suggestions, and really learn to help each other. Community spirit and participation was at an all-time high at the Market Summer Melee this past July 2003. Not more than a month later, August 28, 2003, North Shore Country Marketplace Executive Director receives a letter from City Managing Director Ben Lee. Amongst other things, the letter cited zoning violations by the market and thus we regret to inform you that the operations of the country market must terminate and the property vacated no later than December 31, 2003. Anything to say about uh, the market possibly closing? I think that's horrible. The, the country market should stay here. It's a wonderful community event. Every, it's very social. People come from all over. Right, right. How and long it, have you done it? We've been involved with um, the country market for gosh, about four years, five years. Yeah. And of course in this location since it, since it came over here for about three years. I, I see this place as a real um, North Shore cultural gathering place and it's, it's a real shame that it's going to be uh, taken away from us. Thing, you know? It's the only place that they huh? only just trying to make it handmade stuff, stuff that's here. Huh? You guys make all these? Yeah. Get the shells too? Yes. And it ends in December. And so that's the end of the market. I, what would you like to see happen though, Malou? Um, I'd like this to stay here, even if they put a rec center next door. Right. We, we, we serve the community here in a bunch of different ways. Right. I think it would be a crime to see this place gone. It supports the people, the organic foods, artists. It's great how for the community. How many years have you worked here? I've been here four years this November, and it's my bread and butter, and it'll just be a... It'll be a total crisis for me if this place goes. Right. And um, I'm really upset. We don't need another rec center. We need more organic gardens and trees and plants. Forget about the concrete and the buildings and let's get back to replanting the earth.
Yeah, I think there are people going to compromise. And it's a place for people to share their art and, you know, in a community. We all get together, we all socialize. It's a, it's a fantastic place. It should not end. It should be a, a, an infinite thing that goes on forever and it should be carried on for years ahead. <laughs> In this day and age, I think it's uh, sad that they would take this away from the community when they give so little to the community, you know. So, and so many people utilize it as their, their source of income. They're just going to be adding to the economic crunch here, you know. Aloha, welcome to Hawaii. How are you today? I'm very good. Uncle, how many years you been at this fruit market? I've been at 15 Thank years fruit market. Yeah, yeah. And I start this market. I'm not, uh, we are the first started the market. Did you guys sign the petition for the market uh, yet? Yeah. And we move up to the school and tell them what it is. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, moving back over here. Right here. Yeah. 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 Stuff looks great. Yeah. Thanks. You don't have to say. <laughs> what do you have to say? I have to say, you guys are nuts if you're going to stop this. So much effort and so much love has gone into this, and it should be set up as an example. It shouldn't be taken down as an example. No comprehension as to why they're taking this away. It's such an incredible community service of uh, everybody that lives out here. This place is packed. There's so many people that come here. Everybody. I'll be there in a second. Every, every Saturday, yeah? Every Saturday. It's just such a great way to support the community and keep everybody, keep the money out here. Support the people that live out here. It's, it's just an amazing thing out here and I am blown away that they don't want to support me. How many years you been here? Maybe five they should reconsider because this is a plus for the community, a plus for vendors, a plus for all that visit. Uh, we have so many visitors that return year after year. In fact, today I had a lady who was here last year. She came back this year to see us again here. And this is where she knew she could find us. It's a challenge to work with the bureaucracy that is really accustomed to working with the community. So we're trying to work through this challenge as best as we can. Positive and, attitude. And we're trying to be as positive as we can with the administration and the bureaucracy that we're working with. And what kind of effects do you feel this is going to have on all of us here? It, um, that come here if this place goes. If, if this place goes, if they actually do kick us out, <laughs> then the opportunities that we've created for low to moderate income people will disappear. I feel like people are going to, it's just like a communication thing. It's just, you know, as the word gets out more, I think they're going to figure out a way to compromise and work together and resolve. Yeah, I, I, I that's what's going to happen. You know, because the letter I got was really pretty much all legally. Right. And pretty incongruous with what they gave us the land to be here for in the first place. Right. So they said, here's the land. Please set up your people's open market. Please install your organic farm. And here's some money to do it with, by the way. Right. And then at the end of five years, they're citing the zoning issues that they um, propagated with us to, to be part of. So right. If they want to say that we're breaking the law, actually, they're pretty much co-conspirators. Right, right, right. They paid us to be here. And I think it's more just like a communication thing. It's like the dialogue opens up and the points of view get out there. It'll all be resolved because, you know, it's not like they're... Uh... I don't think that they have really had, as, a, as an organization, I don't think they really have like a conspiracy against us. No, not at all. No, it's a, it's a good thing. Nobody would not think that what's going on here is a good thing. So I, I think that uh, it's going to be good to have people communicate. Yeah, that's, that's a big thing, and that's really what we want to do around the planet. That's it. Have everybody communicate and work This with is the other. microcosm. It's kind of like what it's about. Got to take care of it at home before we can take care of it on a bigger level. So that's really it. All right, so, thanks, Bill. Yeah, thank you. 
We urge you to use these resources to express your support of the North Shore Country Market. Thank you.